Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Tweepers Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the quickest way to install Kodi 17.3 on your Kodi Fire Stick, or sorry, Amazon Fire Stick, uh, via the actual stick and not without a PC connection. Um, there's a lot of tutorial videos out there, but on this one I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible and as easy as possible. This is the quickest method I've found. I've done about four or five different methods. And so we'll crack on and show you how I do it. First thing you need to do, uh, at this point you would have obviously registered your uh, Amazon device to your Amazon account. Uh, you, can, you can't do anything until you've done that. And then you want to go down to settings, go to device, go to uh, developer options, uh, AD debugging will be off so you turn that on. Apps from unknown sources will also be off and you keep that on. At that point all you then need to do is go to the search to download an application. And at this point, this is where you search for an application which I've already downloaded. Uh, you can see here it's called ES Explorer. Um, if you just type that on the search, install it, and it will allow you to install. And this is what you get at this option. Um, before we carry on, you're going to have an annoying setting that you might turn off. Uh, it's under loading, yeah, log of floating widget settings. Sometimes this was enabled. If you disable it, at the moment it's enabled, and a ticket to enable it, it's just a annoying setting that you need to set off, but sometimes you don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, so at the moment I've set up a bookmark, which is down here, called Kodi. Um, I've set it up already, but I'll show you how to do that. All you do is scroll up here and click on Add, like so. Uh, this is the address that I put in, it's uh, HTTP uh, column forward slash forward slash Kodi dot TV. Once you've done that, you click on Next. Uh, you can give yourself a name. Um, in this instance, I'll probably just call it. Uh, let's have a look. Maybe just call it Kodi, I suppose. Whatever you prefer, as long as it's just a bookmark that you recognise on the Explorer. And click on Next, and that gives you the option to add. In order to add, you can see it's quite confusing. There's a, a grey box. You want the grey box to go over to Add. Uh, now, because I've added this already, I'm not going to add it, but you would click on that. In this instance, I'm just going to cancel. Once that's added, you scroll all the way down to that bookmark and click on Kodi. This will then load up the Kodi's official website. Um, now, because you're not using a mouse, you're probably going to be using um, one of these uh, remotes. Uh, it's a bit complicated to use, but basically, you tab over to the main web, scroll all the way down, like so. You'll see this Android icon that you want to click on, but you can't actually click on it. So you keep going further down and go to older releases. So I'll click on that. In this instance, what you want to do is click on Android. And then you want to go on ARM. Not the one above, not the one below, but ARM. And in this instance, I'm trying this for the first time. I want to go to Kodi 17.3. And this is the brand new version um, as of the end of May. So we'll click on that. Now when you click on it initially, nothing's going to happen. Uh, that's not a problem. You only click once, go all the way down to the bottom, click on more, open in browser, and hopefully it will give you two options to install the application. Just click on ES Downloader. In this instance, click just once or always, doesn't really matter. And that's going to download. Once that's downloaded, it'll give you an option to open folder or open file. In this instance, I believe we're opening file. Hopefully I've got that right. And we scroll over to install. Let that do its thing and it will install. If I click down here, click on install. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's opened. Well down it's installed. We'll click on open for its initial reboot. Uh, there won't actually be any TV on here to watch at this stage. Kodi is the platform and you need to download Fusion uh, TV add-ons or any other add-ons uh, to actually watch the content that you want to watch. So this is just the basic platform loading for the first time. Okay, so this is what you'd get for the first time when you've loaded it up. Uh, now what we need to do next, we need to go to uh, the settings icon which is just here. And we're going to do uh, system settings, and we want to go down to add-ons, scroll down here, and click on unknown sources, and enable that. Once you've done that, we need to go to, 
let's have a look. Okay, back to uh, settings, file manager, and you want to click on add source. And you click on this box, and you need to type in. Okay, I've typed in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add ons dot AG. Have a look at that, pause it, make sure you type the URL exactly as it is, uh, or it won't work at all. Right, at that point, you'll click on OK. And uh, down here, we'll put like a little name for it. Uh, in this instance, I'll keep it nice and simple. Uh, you can call whatever you want, it's, as long as it's a file that you recognize because you're going to install uh, a zip file from there. I'll just call it TV. And at that point, you click on OK. Let's see if I can remember what we're doing next. So we press back, back again. And we're going to go to add-ons, and we're going to go up to this little square up here. Uh, I'm going to say install from zip file, and then you'll see the uh, TV folder. You want to click on begin here, and this is Indigo, this is what we're looking for. Now we'll give it a bit of time. Um, sometimes you get a notification at the bottom screen to say that this has worked. Uh, well, let's see, it might not happen but you've just got to give it a bit of time right, you can see the icon up there, Indigo add-on installed uh, it can take up to a minute or so and uh, you'll see that it's installing it if I go down to add-ons and there's Indigo so what we'll do in this instance, it's uh, recommended to log out Exit Cody. Go back to the home screen. Come out of the File Explorer. And you can see if you go along to My Apps and Games, uh, this is the Cody icon. So you click on that and it's going to reboot it again with the uh, TV add on Indigo package that you just installed. Now there's a few things you can do um, once you've had it in. Some people will like to install a bulk of sources. Uh, most people, like myself, who are quite new to the service, just need Exodus. And Exodus will pretty much cover all the television shows and all the films. Um, so let's have a look see what we've got so far. Indigo's there, so we'll click on that. Obviously, it's putting uh, it's, it's sort of initialising it for the first time, so you have to give it a bit of time. Uh, the first time it's running, so you've got a few things you can do. Config wizard. If you click on that, I believe if you install that, that will give you the option to basically put uh, maybe 10 to 15 of the apps that are recommended. Uh, but if you don't want to clog up your space, it's not going to take up a lot of space. But I personally would prefer to go to add-on installer and I can choose what are the favourites, so in this instance I'll click on featured add-ons. Um, Exodus is probably the top ranking add-on, I'm going to click on that and I'll install and we'll let it do its thing. Okay, once that's done you click on OK and what we'll do is uh, before I carry on, I'll show you other add-ons that you can install that might be more tailored for your liking. Um, obviously, Phoenix is an alternative to Exodus, but it's got a sports section. Pro Sport, American Sports, UK Sports, you know, anything in Europe, basically. Uh, you've got a, a range of apps for certain things, and it's all about going in there, researching which ones are more suitable for yourself. Um, Exodus is going to pretty much cover television shows and films, and you know that's probably the most essential one. But it's all about going in here and looking for the ones that tailor for you. You know, you've got retro cartoons and all kinds of all add-ons you can look have a look at. But in the meantime, we'll come out of here and um, we'll just see where Exodus. Exodus initially um, downloads itself with YouTube as well because I think it does news YouTube uh, clips also. Same kind of thing when you sort of download it for the first time. Might take a bit of time, we'll give it a second. 
Okay, so I reboot, uh, rebooted uh, Cody because um, Exodus wasn't playing straight away, but sometimes you need to do that. And this is the first menu that you come across. You've got movies, TV shows. Um, you can do a search. I'll just give an example quickly how this goes. I'll do a more in-depth review on uh, uh, the app and how you can use it. But if we click on movies for now, um, maybe let's just have a look at what people are watching. Gives you an idea of what people are into at the moment. It could be a combination of new films, old films, but you can choose uh, different genres, you can choose different categories uh, based on the genre, the year. So this again, gives you a list of films, there's a hypnosis on the left, it's quite tidy to use. Um, just to give you an example, we'll click on the Lego Batman movie. I'll pause it for now, but what happens is it takes about 30 seconds for it to bring up a list of providers. So I'll pause for a sec. Okay, so typically after 25 to 30 seconds, it will give you a list of all these providers. Uh, from experience, I'd say the one at the top is normally the best uh, quality. So you click on that one. The further down the list you go, it will eventually go to a standard definition. Uh, and obviously you're streaming uh, these sources. Um, this looks like it's about to play. The menu is quite tidy, the usual controls uh, that you'd expect from a media player and you can play around with those. Uh, you can skip a little bit. You can see that the quality is absolutely fine. At least 720p. I wouldn't say this is uh, 1080p, but, but you do get some. You can see the quality is just fine. So we'll pause that, come back out. I'll just show you quickly, it's pretty much the same kind of thing with television shows. And all you need to do is come back out again. Same thing, but this is your time you're going to TV shows, genres, networks, languages, most popular, highly rated. So we're going highly rated. But you can do a search for anything in particular as well. Like I said, I'm not going to go in depth about this today. I'll do a, another video on Exodus. Uh, just an example, we'll click on Breaking Bad. Same kind of thing, you've got all these seasons, all the episodes. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all, but you click on the episode, click on that, it will bring up the list of providers, and you choose the one at the top. Um, some links work, some, things, some of them don't. If it doesn't, just go on to the next one, if you don't mind doing that. Uh, that is pretty straightforward. So that is uh, how you install uh, Exodus, uh, along with uh, Indigo and Kodi on your Fire Stick. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, just pause the video if you need to go back to a few points, give it a shot, it's quite uh, straightforward to do and hope you enjoy the experience. Uh, stay tuned to my next video where I'm going to go into more depth details, uh, how to tailor the Kodi experience, make it more user friendly etc. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning into the video and stay tuned to the next episode of Tweefers Tech.